Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. We're out on location again. I don't know why Erin keeps having us back here. Maybe she's just a really nice person. Maybe we're just a nice people. Yeah, we're absolutely. Glad to be back. <laughs> hey, today we're talking about one of my favorite, used to be favorite things, breakfast. You've already scolded me that breakfast is a, the most important meal of the day. Well, most you know, important. I was gonna say, actually, you didn't say most important, but now you did, so. I, 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 I am yeah. saying that. <laughs> but breakfast, it's so, it is so good. And I do love it, it's just the time. And that's where we're going to pick this up today. Yes. And yeah, I like the title of this today, Healthy in a Hurry, Breakfast Edition. Yes, definitely. So breakfast, why breakfast? Why is it so important to get breakfast, something in that belly? Yeah, so first off, you're breaking the fast of sleep during your sleep time. So right away in the, in the morning, as you're eating breakfast, you are increasing your energy, you're regulating your blood sugar, and you're getting key nutrients. Um, so those three main points is really what makes breakfast the most important meal of the day. And does it matter what you're gonna be doing for breakfast? You know, when we're thinking about, what am I gonna eat for breakfast that day? You know, like, are you saying we should just get something in there to help regulate this stuff, or? I always say, first and foremost, something is better than nothing, especially during that breakfast time. So, I know you might be thinking, Aaron's telling me I can eat a donut. <laughs> come on, come on, that's your, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, I won't deny that a donut is a great tasting breakfast item. However, what if it has the jelly in it? Isn't that healthy? <laughs> However, we definitely want to get um, good lean protein, fiber, and healthy fats into our breakfast. Well, we'll talk about some of that with some of the stuff that's in front of us, uh, but let's start with protein, something that uh, you should include in that uh, breakfast diet. Where can we get it from? Yeah, protein, you know, first and foremost, everyone thinks of eggs. I do too, I was like, protein, eggs. Yep. I mean, it just feels like it rolls off the tongue. It really does, but sometimes you just don't have time for, oh. um, for making eggs in the morning. So there are other options such as maybe it's yogurt, maybe it's um, a nice plant-based milk, um, or even some um, high protein cereal. Cereal. But protein really helps to regulate blood sugar, keeps you fuller longer, and helps you get through the day. I was gonna say, I think it, 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 once the metabolism starts going, like you're like, oh, I'm hungry or something, but you just feel better when you have it. So yes, uh, having that, uh, the bowl of cereal, whatever, uh, you can find, you know, these things that we're looking for. Fiber is the next one. And when I think fiber, yes. I think cereal, but yes. there's other, other ways of getting it. Oh, definitely. And fiber is definitely coming from our cereal. We see it on the labels all the time. Um, but also your fruits and vegetables, right, you know, right in those produce items. You have tons of fiber, both soluble and insoluble. Again, helps to feel full longer, helps to regulate your blood sugar throughout the day, and it really gives you that energy too. How about healthy fats, which just sound wrong, and every time we talk <laughs> about healthy fats, I'm like, how come I don't have those, but I have the other one. <laughs> well, we wanna get our healthy fats in because that really helps to bulk um, and gets us through the day as well. So um, fat gives us a little bit more energy than our carbohydrates and our protein. So it really helps to go a little further. So that, think like your avocados, if you're um, cooking, you know, I'd say cooking vegetables um, or eggs, like using oils. Um, Nut, you had as well. nut butter? And nut butter what too. What is a nut butter? Like know. peanut butter. Oh, oh. <laughs> This is why I'm here doing TV. Okay, we'll just leave it yes. at that. Uh, all right, vitamins, vitamins, vitamins and minerals, also another uh, key factor in, in a good breakfast. Right, so we've talked about it many times, but getting multiple food groups into your meals will help to give a, a variety to your diet, and that really, um, that's really where we're getting our vitamins and minerals. We wanna diversify our plate with getting a variety of our food groups, like our fruits, vegetables, protein, dairy, and grains. Okay, now let's just back up here for a second. Yes. So we're looking in the morning where there's some of us <clears throat> that are lazy or are dealing with the kids and you know make sure they get back, get out the door. We're talking about timing here. Right. How do you set some time, or what do you say to uh, folks when you're talking to them and like, well, breakfast is great, and they're telling you, well, I'm sorry, Erin, but my time is more important. Right, right. And time really shouldn't be a deterrent for getting some nutrients in our, into our body because in the long run, it's gonna save us time throughout the day because we won't be thinking about food, we won't be munching or craving other things. So 
right, right where I started in the beginning. Something is better than nothing. So let's say that you have all the time in the world. Go ahead and make yourself a four course meal for breakfast. But I know you're talk you're laughing because that's not realistic for most people. I'm so, thinking of those dishes, but uh, you know, all the dishes, yeah, that's a yeah, trouble. Yeah, that but too. <laughs> not even thinking about the work, it's the dishes. So if you have about maybe five to 10 minutes to sit down and actually eat something, your high protein, high fiber cereal with your plant-based milk is a great option. Um, our ripple milk here is using um, yellow lentils, yellow peas to make this milk. So it's plant-based. It's high protein, it has adequate sources of calcium and vitamin D, and really, again, tastes great. Th this nice is, and creamy. This, <laughs> nice and creamy. <laughs> so, a bowl of cereal with this in there uh, is hitting all the points that you talked about before. Yes, so even a small bowl like this will help you really get through the day. And kind of set up those uh, set up those things you need uh, to carry you throughout the day. Exactly. Um, and, and also, the to-go people like like me, so you're about to fit my need right here. I've, right. I've been eyeing this up here, <laughs> trying to figure out what that is. Yep. Uh, I'm excited to talk about this. So for those folks who are like, I'm more on the liquid diet because I'm traveling, what can yes. we do? Yes, yep, so this is a coconut coffee smoothie. So you get your coffee. Ding. <laughs> you get your protein. Ding. If you, say, if you get your coconut, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Fiber. Fiber. Ding. <laughs> all right, you got the three. So really easy. Throw it all in a blender. Um, and we'll, we'll give you the recipe for that too. But throw it in your blender and you have a great smoothie to drink on the way to work. And these products, again, are, are great alternatives, right? So we're, yeah. we can look at, you know, using these uh, to get closer to those numbers uh, or closer to those proteins, fiber, vitamins, bro everything. Everything, exactly. So you're setting yourself up for success right in the morning. So you're telling me to wrap this up, that breakfast is good. We got to make time for it because in the long run, it's saving us time. Okay. You heard it here. Um, well, I'm gonna uh, enjoy this frozen uh, cocktail, and we appreciate Ivy uh, and Aaron setting this up for us. Uh, Aaron, if people want to learn more about what we talked about today, have questions for you, and want to come on down and have them point out some of the stuff we talked about, how can they do that? Yep, go to hivy.com/health and find me, your dietitian, or stop by your local Hivy store and ask for my contact. Here's a cheers to all of you out there in trying breakfast in the morning. Not bad. <laughs> it's good. <laughs>